Hello, my friends. I cannot wait to dig into this project. I am using this gorgeous piece of paper. It is from Merry Little Christmas, and I'm going to cut out that the top part you see here, and I'm also going to be cutting out that piece on the right, the lower right with all of the trees and the car. So this is a photo of my baby cousin, his wife, my kids, and myself a couple years ago on Christmas Eve. And I'm going to use paper number nine as my background. It is this gorgeous sweater print. It's beautiful. So I went ahead and added some splatters to my background just in the areas that I thought I would be seeing. And let's see, so I think I'll do this. I think I'll do that. I'm gonna pop these two pieces up on some foam. I also went ahead and used the same mists, inks, what have you, and did a little bit of work with these chippies. I think they are stunning and gorgeous and beautiful. I thought I'd have a couple of angels up tall, but I can't, I'm missing an angel, here it is. So I thought I'd have a couple angels heralding up top. I have not matted my photo yet. I will get to doing that. And then the thing I'm gonna do after I stick these large pieces down is I'm going to start coming up with places for all of these pieces from paper number nine. I think I'll stack the deer right where it was, or do I, no, I'll put it right there. So we'll have the two. Okay, let me get these pieces down. Let me get a little bit of dimension going and I'll be right back. So I decided to turn my photo black and white because it seemed like it was competing a little bit with the scrapbooking collection I'm using and it's so beautiful that I want it to shine. So let's see, I am going ahead and scuffing up my little edges and bending them up a little bit so that I can have a little bit of shadow beneath them. Now that white poinsettia that you see right there that I was working on, there was also the same white poinsettia on the background piece of paper that you see there. So I just kind of put flower on flower and then I went ahead and put the little candy cane up top. You see that I'm sitting there wrestling with my liquid adhesive. Sometimes it just does not wanna come out. I'm gonna go ahead and tuck this little gorgeous piece underneath. I had gone ahead and had that next to me as a little piece that just needed to be used. Now I'm gonna go ahead also and tuck this little chippies piece slightly underneath some of that area because I wanted it to look like it was all part of the same kind of scenery. I'm gonna do the same little deal where I pop up a little piece onto some foam. It's going to create a bit of dimension and I will tuck it right back there and it'll stick up just a little bit. So you're gonna see me repeat this same kind of treatment over and over. I have all of these adorable little pieces that I detail cut out of paper number nine. I had used it for a previous project, but I did have some leftovers. I'm like, you know what, let me go ahead and fussy cut, detail cut, whatever you like to call it, all of those pieces out and see if I can get them on this paper. Now I did use all but one or two of them, but I'll use them on my next project without a doubt. I mean, this may be one of my favorite Christmas collections I have ever played with. And that background paper that looks like a pink fuzzy sweater, it makes you feel soft and cozy. And then we have those beautiful little deer with a little tiny little dots on them and they're just pretty. Oh, and down below, I did put a little bit of dimensional adhesive on the larger deer piece as well to create shadow. Once again, I used my six by eight paper pad to pick out a couple of pattern papers that I matted my photo with. The six by eight paper pads are just such a fun addition to the collections this year. We have been so spoiled with having all kinds of additional patterns, it's it's fun. And there's also die cuts that are in the six by eight by eight paper pad that are not found elsewhere. So you totally have to get them to go with your collections. So, oh, and I just shook that. I'm like, I know I have a couple pieces that I need to get stuck down. So I have a couple of these cute little 
round birdies that get to go in a couple of places. And then this layout is going to be done so quickly. All the work was done for me because the collection is full of tons and tons of gorgeous pieces to layer. Now I grabbed a piece of, or I grabbed a sentiment from the chipboard stickers and I'm gonna go ahead and use my T-square ruler because I just don't put things on very straight. And I'm going to layer that right underneath my photo, drawing a little bit more attention to my photo. And you know, it's, it's one of those things, like you just add a little bit of something and you're like, that's exactly what this layout needed. I'm also gonna grab one of these little word sentiments to tuck into my layers. I love the little word bits. They help to tell the story of your photo, even without handwritten journaling. So I do try to include them whenever I can on these Minte Papers layouts. I added another sentiment over in the sleigh area, and I'm also going to grab three of the circle elements from the same chipboard stickers and stack them up to the upper right of my photo. I, I don't know, I like circles, and I like the way that they ended up looking. And I did add the one that reads Joy up on a little bit of dimensional adhesive as well. Now I wanted to bring in some more of this deep rich red. So I'm going to tangle up some thread and tuck it into three different places. And with that, this layout is done. I, you can see right there where I popped in the thread. Now I did decide I wanted to add just a little bit more of my white mist so I'm going to sprinkle it around on the upper portions of this layout so you do see that I have it down on the base of my layout but I thought I'd add a little bit more of a snowy effect here and there on my detail cut pieces and it's adding just that nice bright little pop of white I'll also go ahead and add just a little bit of gold mist as well and that is this layout finished. I hope you like what I came up with today. I will have the Minte Papers website down below. And that is all, folks. Thank you so much for watching.